Mm. You know us. It's us again. Us. Us. And me. <laughs> Mr. B. And? Mrs. B. We're the bees. And we sting. We sting. And we sting others. <laughs> yes. So what are we having? Well, you made us some shrimp tacos with uh, Mexican rice. Mm -hmm. And everybody's got a way they like their food presented just for eating. Rice I like on my right. Where do you put your rice? I don't know. It's, it's right on my right. For example, toilet paper, over or under? Over. Okay, we're not going to get into the drama of this. That could be a whole other show. I'm just saying. Why don't we just get to the nitty gritty? Oh, we have a... Why uh, are we here? We have a sauce to review. Yes. Now, we picked up a variety of sauces from a uh, local specialty store, uh, World Market. Yes, we love World Market. They have so, a variety of hot sauces. Um, so this one looked pretty interesting. So do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, this one is called Torchbearer Sauces, The Rapture. It's got to be cool because it's got Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. It's got to be awesome. Yes. And it says deadly. It says it's gluten free. Yes. And accidentally healthy, intentionally delicious. <laughs> and the ingredients are They're very tiny also. <laughs> hey, but this had a lot of them and I could read them earlier. Give me a second here. Do you want my phone so you can enlarge it? So we have Trinidad scorpion peppers, Maruga scorpion peppers, Carolina reaper peppers, uh, looks like uh, boot jokia, uh, the ghost pepper, um, habanero peppers, and then they add some carrots and some mandarin oranges, Ooh. tomatoes, distilled vinegar white, canola oil, garlic, sugar, chili powder, and black pepper. The black pepper is really what's going to hit us. Probably. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I created something new. You did. It's the wrapper opener. It's the wrapper opener. It's like a uh, spork. At least it's not a the big spoon fork. knife. Yeah. Anyways. I did order him a little opener anyway, so it should be getting here. Anyway. I like the spork. Mm. The shoe spork. Uh, the label's pretty nice. Did you take a picture of the label? Yeah, we'll throw a photo yeah. up there. But, but um, it looks a little thick. Which is good. We like thick. Mm. It looks a little chunky. So the first thing that hits me is the vinegar. It makes my mouth water just smelling it. It does. Smell it first. Getting a little sweetness. I'm getting the spiciness. I'm getting the garlic in it. Yeah, definitely garlic. Vinegary. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kabira, hold your spoon up. My spoon up. I guess if you were using a spork, it would have fallen through, huh? It's kind of thick. Oh, sh shiitake. <laughs> it's quite thick, actually. See, I, I edited myself. I, see, I could turn it. I could turn it. Oh, that's a nice oh. <laughs> thick sauce. It's really thick, so... But anyways, look at that. Let's look how thick this. that is. Yeah. Do you see how thick that is? Mm -hmm. Cheers. If I had a spork, it would have fallen through. Mm. It's chunky. Oh, it's spicy. Ah. It's chewy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ingredients. I have uh, maybe the garlic and the onion. What's the heat on it for you? It's going up a little bit. Like a one, one-ish. So I, I think they have to make it store, store heat balanced. Um, it's good. It's it's not it's not bad. It's good, and um, the, fla the flavor is good on it. The flavor is good. I wish it had a little more salt in it, but that's just me. I, I like salt. It is a little tad of salt. Mm -hmm. I think it would bring it, <coughs> everything together. Right to throw. But let's, let's yeah, try tasty. on some tacos. Okay. Uh, so these are gluten-free, one-carb tortillas. You know, of the um, of the sauces we got, this one is the one we're trying right now because it had the most amount of scary hot peppers. 
and it's called the rapture. I want to try it's, this. It says deadly, but again, you know, we have a higher tolerance because we've been working at it. Um, if our tolerance was lower, this would probably be scorched in our tongues. Mm -hmm. um, try this. If this was a year ago, I will try this. Try it. I will. Try it. Ah. Ah. He's always afraid that I'm going to get it on his beard. <clears throat> it's really good. That's never happened. <laughs> well, the rice is good. Mm -hmm. I love my Mexican rice. So we're not having cheese today. Because if you've all heard the news, oh, the, about cheese, the cheese drama. drama. Remember, remember the Jalisco drama mm -hmm. some years ago. Jalisco cheese. They did, had a big uh, recall. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that, but this one's not Jalisco, right? It's from uh, up north somewhere. Um, you gotta be careful. <coughs> <coughs> you know what we're missing? What? Beverages. Oh my yes. God, we are missing beverages. Not that we need them. Actually, right now I could use a little sippy sip. <laughs> I probably couldn't. Mm. This is really good, actually. This is super good. There's some heat in my mouth. Like I'm starting to feel it. A little coconut for you. Thank you. A little guava or passion fruit and guava. We didn't have veggies to cut up today. Um, that's just because I've been busy. And uh, we forgot to pick some up at the store today. It's all so good. we're winging it today. It's all good. It's semi-protein style. Well, it would be if we weren't doing this. <laughs> mm. Good. Check that out. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Super tasty. Mm -hmm. Probably two-ish for me. Yeah. I mean, you throw that many peppers into a sauce, you're going to have a little bit of a spice. Well, what I noticed is because we haven't eaten <clears throat> a few hours, it's sitting heavy in my stomach. So I don't know if you call that a gut bomb or what you call that. It's just, all of a sudden, it just hit my stomach. Have some rice. So I am going to do that. Mm. Yeah, we bought several uh, other hot sauces from there. You know, some of those, I don't want to say cheesy, but they come in those little taster packs. We mm -hmm. don't expect too much for those, but maybe we'll be surprised. Um, we have a variety of them. In fact, one of them, I think it's from uh, Dave's. Mm -hmm. Can't read it from here. Mm -hmm. We have a hot sauce from Dave's, and then we have a jar of, I don't know if it's pickled, but it's uh, ghost peppers. Yeah. In, a, in a water, in a sauce, you know, I don't know what, it is, what it's in. We'll probably uh, review those separately. But um, yeah, we got several to try. Maybe if you guys find them. Um, we could try them too. In your local stores or Amazon. Any, yeah, something like that. But this is good. I'm glad we got this one. Mm -hmm. It's always fun to try uh, new sauces. Especially when they have a kick. Mm. Kick, kick. This one has a kick. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised at how good it is. It's kicking my butt. It's got a fairly good balance. So, wouldn't you agree? I would have it with food, yes. <clears throat> have it on some tacos. Um, maybe fish, something. Even I, I think it would be really good with your carne asada tacos or uh, whatever kind of tacos you want. What if you marinate uh, some shrimp in that? <gasps> throw it on a barbecue or in the oh, grill. That would be good. <clears throat> it's got spice to it. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a two. For me, it's on the sides of the tongue. Nothing in the throat. How about you? A little bit on my tongue, <clears throat> a lot in my stomach, a lot in my stomach. Well, like you said, you didn't have any, there's no prep. No the prep. The food, you're essentially prepping as you eat. Yeah. Which would make it not prep. Exactly. <clears throat> but very good, very nice. 
So you know, a year ago, if we tried this before we really stepped up our uh, our capsaicin tolerance, right? It would be super, super mm -hmm. hot. Um, it's got a good burn. Now, as I swallow... It is like a two for me now. It, a little bit's going in the back of the throat. Yeah. Uh, but throat is minimal. And for, you know, for me, I have a very sensitive throat. It takes very little for me to, you know, cough. Yet I won't have, a, you know, any burn, potentially. Um, this is pretty much all tongue. A little bit on lips now. But I, excuse me, but I think I'm spreading it around as I'm eating. Great I'm with these, the, uh, the shrimp. Yeah, the sh shrimp was marinated in a little bit of um, mayonnaise, a little bit of olive oil, mm, a little bit of garlic salt, and uh, fresh garlic. And I let it marinate and sit for about four hours. Um, then you just toss it in your pan because it already has the oils that you need um, and you don't have to add extra seasoning or anything on it so you know we've had some shrimp that doesn't taste so good right kind of swampy mm -hmm. um, just didn't taste so good these ones are excellent yes. has no none of that taste mm -mm. tastes very fresh it does I love your rice thank you I've said that before I rave about her rice. Mm -hmm. Mexican style rice. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. <clears throat> and we don't eat a lot of rice. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a treat when she makes it. Oh, you can see that. It's traditionally Mexican rice. Mm. You blend your onion and your tomatoes, and I went. Kind of like fast foody. Uh, I use tomato sauce instead of blending my tomatoes, um, but still, <clears throat> still try and keep within, um, you know, our tradition, uh, traditional way of making the rice. And I love actually, I love my rice. And you have friends that have <coughs> wanted me to oh, give them so good. the rice recipe. Yeah, I think you owe a couple of people your recipe. I told them just come or over just the rice. and we'll cook together. We're back. We're back, and if you haven't noticed, it may, the view may look a little different. Yeah. It's because the battery died in the other camera. Luckily, we had this going. Just kind of switched it around and uh, back to the burn. Back to the burn. <coughs> it's really on the uh, tip of my tongue now. It's yeah. a good... Uh, it's a good burn. It's a good steady, too. However, every time, you know, I take a bite, it's um, like reigniting that fire. Mm hmm but um, two is a good burn. It's a two at our level. Um, it may be a zero at some serious chili heads uh, no. level, or it could be a 12 on somebody, you know, like my mom who has no heat level. A packet of ketchup. <sighs> Not joking there, but so good. <clears throat> Whatever you do, <clears throat> can't even speak. Oh, do it good. Do it good. <clears throat> Remember, I had that challenge on Sunday. Mm. It's crazy. I don't know how it's going to work. Meaning, I think they send me a link, and then um, if you go to the uh, League of Fire, um, that should be probably um, live. I am, I'm scared. So, <clears throat> February 11th at 1 p.m. Again, pretty sure, we haven't checked, pretty sure it's Pacific uh, Standard Time. Um, Fierce Fiery Queens <clears throat> are going to be likely going live on the League of Fire um, Site. YouTube channel mm -hmm. and Facebook page. So check it out. They're going to be doing Maddie's Holy Cow Lick, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's an, an insanely hot lollipop. Probably at least twice as big as any lollipop with 
16 million Scoville heat units so, <coughs> of pain. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to accomplish it, but I'm going to try. That's all I can do. That's the whole thing. It's for fun. If you do it, she's got a, they have to hold it in their mouth for 10 minutes. Watch some uh, YouTube videos of people doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. <clears throat> Thank you everybody for tuning in, um, following us, liking our videos. We have just as much fun making them as you do watching them. And watching when I'm just going crazy and telling him, cut, I'm done, I need to run. Um, we love that. the comments. <laughs> <clears throat> we love the comments. This is so good. Have a good burn. Mm -hmm. Probably a two and a half now. It's really good. Because we keep putting it in our mouths. Why don't we let them move forward <coughs> for evening? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Or morning. Or morning. Whenever it is that you watch this. Um, be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Hit mm -hmm. that notification bell so you know when we're doing something. Yeah. Especially when we do something live, which it's coming up. Yeah. And... Um, Mr. B will be sure to uh, put a picture of this hot sauce on our um, on our channel. And remember, you have to put a link to the store, to the World Market, so if you haven't. Yeah. <clears throat> Check out our, uh, our peeps, our businesses and organizations that we absolutely love in the description. We love hearing from you. And uh, if you've had this one, love to hear what you think of it. Ciao. Take care. Bye.